What about now? Hello, hello, testing. Should work. You guys should be able to hear me. No audio? Okay. Hey, alright. Oh my god. OBS is, uh, I'm still an OBS, um, what's it called? Boomer. Let me just quickly make announcement online that we are live. So today I'm only live for exactly uh, until 8 a.m. my time. So less than an hour because I have somewhere to be right after. But I missed last month uh, Q&A, so I didn't want to miss this one. So yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's pile on the questions for Timmy and uh, I'll answer them or just you know just chill chat do whatever you want it's it's uh it's, uh, it's your day yeah it's, it's yeah it's you guys' day <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about here let me announce on the discord that i'm uh, that i'm live streaming at everyone on this court, there's this one person that's named everyone, and I've accidentally clicked his name a couple of times to tag everyone, and I'm debating on whether or not to ban him, because <laughs> it's so annoying. Ah, <laughs> uh, and sent that message out. Perfect. Cool. I need to uh, change the. Maybe change the title of the title. All right, cool. Now let's take a look at the, your your burning questions. All right. Waiting on for your review of the D audio hype two. Oh, the hype two. Uh, I got a lot of requests to review the hype two. Unfortunately, I don't have one. <laughs> I just don't have. I don't know what to tell you guys. I just don't have one. So um. Yeah, you guys have to wait until I have one, I guess. <laughs> Thoughts on Kiwi Ears Orchestra Light? It's fine. It's fine. I think it's uh I don't I don't love it. I like it, I guess. Yeah, it's just fine to me, yeah. Oh my god, it's resolve. Ah ah what do I do? Act smart. Worse uh, I don't have a fifty Five one two eight to show off. Sadly, um, I have a panel light. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, oh man, in Resolve's videos nowadays, there's a five one two eight in the background, and every time I watch, I'm like, oh god, I'm jealous. <laughs> Just be the five one two eight. Oh my god. Uh. Ugh, if only I can listen that well. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, let's see. What are some of you guys' questions? That. Do you ever get a review unit of the Solus Two? No, I didn't. I didn't get a review unit of the Solus Two, and uh, honestly, I'm really not too excited for it. So I don't mind not having it. Because, uh, well, I saw the graph, not that I want to judge something from the graphs, but let, let, let me pull it up. Where's uh, Mark, uh, Mark Solis 2? Not that I want to judge stuff from the graph, but, you know, where my EST at? Where the EST at? Critical neutral. There we go. My ESTs. <laughs> the reason I spent thousands on this IEM. It's gone. But to be fair, it should sound really, really smooth and non-fatiguing uh, at the very least. So, um, it would sound good. It's just, I, I don't know why... I would spend that kind of money on it, you know? Resolve why no more live streams. I don't even know if he's still in here. <laughs> I 
I think they only do live streams like once every month or once every like couple of months or so. Um, do you live in Japan? Yes, I do. I'm actually like, you know, my floor is actually tatami mats. It's pretty cool. It's. <laughs> Did you try to quest out NHB12 lossless? Ah, <laughs> funny you say that. <gasps> well, bam. I have it. This. So, funny story. Actually, not funny. Me and, uh, Theo, precog vision, when he was uh, visiting my house, we both unboxed this together, well, off camera, and uh, we tried it. We tried it because he's the only person with an Apple device, and I think this is the uh, this is for Apple, so it has like a lightning connector. But it's advertised that it has a 3.5 as well. But um, out of every IEM we tried uh, the day he visited. This is probably the worst one. Like, it is, it has negative soundstage. Like, everything feels so cramped. It's, it's amazing how cramped it feels to listen to this. <laughs> it's just, it's so, it's very bad. <laughs> but yeah, goes to show all the marketing jargons. You know, stuff you already know about. <laughs> Tuning was off, it has negative sound stage, it's all in all just eh, not not good is like putting it lightly. It's one of the one of the bad ones. <laughs> hmm. Apple's going USB C with their new iPhone. Yay! I mean not that I use Apple devices. Um, because I'm broke, I can't afford it. <laughs> I mean, if you're using Apple, you have to kind of use their whole ecosystem for it to like make sense and you get the most out of it. For me, I, you know, I don't want to just own like one Apple device. It kind of doesn't make sense to me. Oh my god. What is this curse object? I'm just looking at Discord and uh, if you guys go on Discord and like, general tab you see that uh cami posted a picture of me as a 512a <laughs> this is horrible <laughs> be a 512 so, okay, so there's one product that I am trying my best to unbox right now. I should have showed you guys first before I started unboxing this. And that is the space whatever. Uh, space travel from Mundra. Uh, I was going to unbox this on camera, but like, I was like, no, why not on the live stream? It's exclusive for the live stream, people. All right. Later, Andrew. Didn't know you were still in here. I thought you already bounced. Uh, let's see. Thank you for joining, by the way. Love it. Timmy, I'm broke. Wireless having multi-thousand dollar. Why do you think I'm broke? Why, why, why do you think I'm broke? You know, where do you think all my money went? <laughs> Just. Yeah, you guys should go on Discord now and go to the general and just look at this amazing piece of art. <laughs> just me as a 5128. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> it's an abomination. Uh, let's see. I heard the space travel is good. Well, let's see. Andres. Andres. Ta da! Look at that, guys. It's the space travel, you know? Space travel. Now, if I wonder if anyone has uh, graphed it. Because I'm not gonna graph this thing. At least not now. 
let's we have to pair it. Well, before we pair it, I guess let's let's take a look at the uh, the TWS up close. Look at that. Look at that thing. So tiny. Looks like uh looks like AirPods kind of shape, you know? Yeah. So um, how do you pair this thing? I guess I should like read the manual. Good morning, excited to see upcoming reviews. Hello, I'm excited to see upcoming reviews myself too. <laughs> Might be more excited than you guys about it. All right, so inside this little uh, base right here, there's the, uh, you know, a charging cable. Uh, <laughs> um, how much does this thing even cost? I don't know. I got sent this stuff. I'm a privileged reviewer. I don't know how much this costs. Um, space time. Card. Uh, 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 all the. I guess this is the manual. This is this is the thing I'm looking for. My savior. And this is like the uh, warranty card. Has anyone ever used their warranty cards? I feels like I feel like my stuff just breaks, and I just like. I just deal with it like it's just life. I don't. <laughs> instruction. Where's the English instruction? All right. Connection. Bluetooth pairing. Enter Bluetooth interface to find micro. Oh, not micro. Moon drop space travel. Click enter to pair. Huh? That's it? So it, it does it just show up? Or let's try it out with my phone at. My phone, let's connect this. Let's connect this. Oh my god, coffee's kicking in, going crazy. Oh. Mm. I don't see it on here. Manual, did you lie to me? Mm hmm. see turn on turn off I'm actually on after taking the earbud out so you have to take them out of the case like this and do they magically turn on I guess so and then now that they're magically turned on uh, 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 <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, I can't. I can't understand this. Why is it not showing up? Oh my god. I bet it's super easy, and I'm just whiffing like crazy. Well, meanwhile, while I'm trying to pair this, uh, let's answer some questions. All right. Um. If you can, sell me on Galileo. Wanna well, know what makes them different at a hundred price point? Yeah, I have a whole video on Galileo you can go watch. You know, it's all on the channel. Uh, B3 does when? I don't know. <laughs> That's a question for uh, Mr. Critical. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, oh, oh, there it is. Moondrop Space Travel. It popped up. Yes, we want to pair that. All right, so, of course, oh, now we shove it in our ears, our ears, guys, our ears, right, it's all of our ears, not my ears, our ears, <laughs> hey, Timmy, I was planning on getting the Mangrid Sense top, but I wonder if it's End game. I mean, I have a rank list. <laughs> I don't want to try 100 IEMs and go broke. I tried cheapies and re ready for end game, but I'm a poor student. I mean, I would say you can get like 90% of end game quality and IEMs like around 300 bucks. So you don't need to um, spend 500. You can buy like B2 Dust. That's already, that's already pretty good. Um, B3, if you want something more neutral. Um, you know, variations when it's on sale. I think it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's still on sale or not, but yeah. What is in his ears right now? It's the Moondrop spaceship. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play music and I'll let you guys know what I think. Uh, me keep, Timmy keeping it real. I mean, like, you've been in this hobby long enough, there's no such thing as, like, like an IEM being over $500 and it's worth the price. It's more like if you want to spend that much, you can. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what song should I test today? I should just go with the song that I know. Some, 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 some Thai song. Or no, some, some Chinese song. Hey Timmy, what do you think about the rap go DAC cable? I, 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 I didn't even know that exists. You tried Lashore DC4? Uh-uh. Never got sent one. What's your favorite ear tips? Oh man, I like a lot of them now. I have the I like the Adunu SNS tips. I like the Tangsu Sansai Sankai tips. Those are good too. Oh, Divinus Velvet is also pretty good. Um Yeah, there's some good ones. Spaceship's alright. Let's see the graph. Sounds alright. Not like mind blowing. Oh, it's not spaceship, it's space travel. My bad. Let's look at Ian Funds. I'm used to Ian Funds graph. Uh, yeah. Of course. Not bad at all. Sounds fine. It's almost like the, uh, this is new IEF. Yeah, it's almost in line with new IEF. Honestly, this sounds better than like, Shu 2, <laughs> Starfield 2, and the Joker. Out of all the Moondrop's best new products, this. This is the best one. <laughs> How much does it cost? How much does spaceship cost? Let's see. Oh, moon drop spaceship. Not spaceship. Space travel. What am I saying? Moondrop space travel. 25 bucks? 25 bucks? Take my money. Just t do it. It's so, that's so cheap. What the hell? Is it really? 25 bucks? Oh my god. And it's a TWS? You gotta be kidding. Dude, this is like... This is... This is so good. For 25 bucks? This is so good. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, this is a win, man. <laughs> 25 bucks. This is like only $6 more than Moondrop Shoe. And uh, I would just get this. This is better. I was, th like, I was thinking this thing might be like, I don't know, like 50 plus, like 70 bucks or something like that. You know, 25 is... It's insane. Someone asked about A and C. Like what kind of like... Uh, let's see what kind of features it has for 25 bucks. I mean, the sound alone is already pretty good. So I'm not going to like complain if it doesn't have any like good features or stuff like that. Let's see, uh, Mr. Manual, tell me. So there's a little touch thing on the side here. Play, pause. Um... Previous, next, if you double tap. Uh, oh, you can take calls, decline, uh, you know, take calls with this. Noise cancellation mode, okay. In 
the turn on state long press the right and left for one section to switch to mode on let's try that Huh. Oh, there's transparent mode, regular mode, and noise cancellation mode. I guess I'm in transparent mode. Okay, now this is noise cancellation mode. <clears throat> All right, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to walk into the kitchen and see if I can hear my wife. This is the best test. It sucks. I mean, like, it's, it's just a little bit softer. But it's not like it's, um... Uh, but it's okay, you know? Everything is okay, because it's like 25 bucks. What do you want from $25? You know? You can... You, dude, in America, you can't even buy a pizza for $25 anymore. But the um the the touch is very receptive. I mean like I don't it it works well. Twenty five bucks. I'm just like casually listening to music now while 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 like talking to you guys. Jimmy is using test equipment that almost no audio file has. <laughs> A wife. <laughs> yes, the best test. <laughs> you know what's crazy is that, like, about my wife, like, this house has so many, like, good gear, you know? IEMs, expensive headphones, end game, whatever the hells. And, like, her favorite, like, audio listening device is, like, some old Apple, like, earbuds. <laughs> And that's because, like, it doesn't irritate her ears. Like, everything else irritates her ears. Like, you know, I think her ears is extra dry or something. But, yeah, she likes the, uh, that, that cheaper wired Apple one. <laughs> when are we getting Annihilator review? I mean, it's too late now for Annihilator review, honestly, because, like, there's 2023 version now, and mine is, like, 2021, which you can't get anymore. Even though it's supposedly the same, I still shouldn't review 2021 in place of 2023, just, you know, just cuz. Just cuz. But yeah, space travel, $25. I would say just have one. Why not? Just go out and buy one. And like, keep it in your travel bag. Keep it in your gym bag. You know, just like, sh leave one in the car. It's like, you always have a TWS wherever you go. Hell, you can buy four of them, you know? One in the car, one at home, one at the office. And one, you know, in your, your travel bag, something like that, you know, just, you know, yeah, yeah, leave them, leave them around like you would leave, like, post-it notes and stuff. <laughs> There's no lid. They are going to fall out. I mean, hell, man. I don't think so. I think they're mag, I think it, they're magnets. I don't know. Let me check. Let me check real quick. Now, how do you shove these back in? Ooh. Yeah, they're magnets, dude. Magnet. They won't come out. Yeah, let's see. Ow. 
I mean, like, the one thing I like is that the touch thing actually works well. Like, it's, um, there's, like, a slight delay after you touch it. There's, like, a split-second delay, but all in all, nothing to complain about for 25 I don't think there's any TWS, like, under $50 that I know of, let alone, like, a $25 one that sounds pretty dang good. <clears throat> Timmy, hey Timmy, any thoughts on Blonde C Jojo? Actually, I've never tried that one. Dude, there's been so many new collabs out that like I, I can't follow anymore. There's way too many of them. Except for mine, I can always follow mine. I'm kidding. <laughs> Are you guys excited for my collabs? Please say yes, because it'll break my heart. <laughs> Hey Timmy, any chance that you got to try out the Hyphaco Canera Celeste Phoenix call? Yeah, I have it. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's all right. <clears throat> There's so many new IEMs. Welcome to the IEM hobby, my friend. There's always too many new IEMs. <laughs> There's like it, it's just the world we live in. If there's no release from the chai fight like market or if there's very little release, there's something wrong. A factory blew up or something like that. Do you lift weight? Do I look like I lift weight? I listen, I'm an audiophile. Audiophiles don't lift weights. That's, that's a fact, you know? <laughs> like Theo, Theo is the only, uh, or Precog Vision is the only audiophile I know that lifts weights. He actually has a life. Or maybe that's why he doesn't release a lot of reviews, because he has to spend time lifting weights. <laughs> dabs are heavy. <laughs> yeah, dabs are heavy. Dude, I'm just I'm just casually enjoying space travel. This is this is good, yeah. I'll it'll be I'll be excited when I know if it fits in my budget. Well, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> let me reveal to you the price of the next collab. The price will be affordable for most people. Yeah, that's the price. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever release anything like way too crazy in price. Uh, I don't know, I just wouldn't feel right, you know? I know you guys, I, I know my viewers well. I know, you guys have no money, so wh why would I release anything expensive? Oh, you guys wouldn't be able to buy it. <laughs> How's the ANC in space travel? Yeah, it's, uh, it's all right. Make a Fio collab? They need a good tune I am. I don't think they'll collab with me. I've hated on pretty much 90% of the stuff they sent me. But I love Fio simply because they keep sending me stuff anyways. It's like they're not afraid of like, here, you can like it, you can love it, we don't care, we send you anyway. It's like, dude, th that's the best. It's really good practice. I'm currently using seven hertz sounds note. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's twenty bucks. Do you think upgrading to Truth Theory Project Red would be significant? Yes. Oh yes. Oh, ha absolutely yes. Upgrade, my friend. Get the red. Get red. Redded. Best looking IEM. I think dark blue Kados are best looking IMO. Ah, uh, best looking IEM. Pfft, not even close, bro. Oh, the Annihilator simply looks the best. The gold plus the martini cable. This is the goat. This is it. I mean, this is the best looking I am ever. Come on, you can't you can't disagree with me. It just looks so dang good. <laughs> it is. It's um. It's I am. It's the I am equivalent of sex. I know it's hard to imagine for some of you guys. <laughs> oh God, I'm just being so mean. <laughs> 
Oh, phew, I gotta calm down. I'm gonna lose subscribers. Uh. <laughs> this level, what the fuck? <laughs> Diva, best looking and sounding. Diva is also really good looking. I don't know where my Diva is. <laughs> like, oh, it's like right there. <laughs> Look at the comments I from. <laughs> uh, yo, Diva, yo. Yo, Diva. 2021, by the way. They, 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 they don't even come with liquid link cables anymore in 2023. So, yeah. Should have bought it back when I recommended it in my video. A few months ago? Eight months ago? Yeah. You guys are late. Now you guys get effect audio cable, which is still good, still good, but it's not liquid link. Sense up is a looker. Yeah, sense up looks really good too. Um, yes, Timmy did the pro <laughs> Timmy, do you know if Kryn is working on V3 variant? Yeah, he, he came out and said it in, in his uh, Blessing 3 video that he is working on it. I don't know when it'll be done though. No, this actually, this, this, this is space travel, honestly. The only thing that you guys will have a problem with is like, maybe base. Like the base is like, maybe not that great. Like in terms of quantity, oh, it died. I guess it just, it, it's, it didn't have that much battery. But yeah, it, overall I liked it quite a bit actually. It's one of those like, I would just keep it in my bag with me just for emergency. Like, I'll keep this fully charged just to have a TWS when I want to. But I'll still use my main one, though. I use a Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro on the regular. So I'll still be using that one. But I don't mind just keeping this one around in my bag as well. Turn on base head profile. Yeah, I didn't even download the app yet. <laughs> is, there, is there supposed to be an app for this, too? Is there, like, different profiles for this? Ian, why... Oh, Ian. Ian didn't graph it, guys. Ian didn't graph it. He only graphed one of them. How dare you, Ian. How could you do this to us? <laughs> Space travel is pog. It, dude, $25. Uh, do you... Do you cable believers... Do I cable believe? Uh, not really. <laughs> not like to like a big far extent, I guess. I'm sure it changes sound a little bit, but it's minute. Um, hi Timmy, does using portable DAC make a difference in sound quality? I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh. You don't really need an expensive one, though, if that's what you're wondering. I've been using space travel and my IE. IE have been sitting aside. Yeah. I wish more TWS was, like, really well-tuned. Space travel is a good neutrally tuned uh, TWS. The only thing is, like, again, it doesn't really have a lot of contrast in the, like, in the base. A lot of dynamics, so base lovers won't really care too much about the uh, the space travel, which is completely understandable. Yo, we have 20 minutes, guys. I'm only here until uh, until another 20 minutes because I have a place to be. As you can tell, I'm dressed up nice today. You can see. Basically, basically, I only have like two nice like shirts. Is this one and the red one that you guys see in the video? But that's pretty much all I have. Like, I, I don't have any anything else. Like, you guys probably noticed I, I dress nicer now in my videos. And that's because, like, I, I went to Thailand and I just bought, like, two shirts in Thailand. And uh, this is all I have. So this is the best looking I'll ever be, guys. This is it. This is, like, peak Timmy performance. Uh, I'll never look any more socially acceptable than this. <laughs> Are you going over to the hangout? Yeah, maybe someday when I go to Singapore again. Maybe for like, I don't know, in the future sometime I go to Singapore and I'll just drop by the hangout. You know what? You know what? You guys are probably jealous of me because I've been to the hangout before. Before it was called the hangout. 
How about that? I was there before it was cool, you know? Uh, hipster here. So that, that, the hangout actually used to be like one of the floor, um, that's for like, that's close. It's one floor above Fat Freak's studio. So I was there visiting Fat Freak and I went up to that floor so to explore and look around and stuff like that. But yeah, I was there before it was the hangout. Hmm. Back then it was just like a hangout, like, oh god, it was kind of, it was a hangout room, but it wasn't called the hangout. Get it? I'm so lame. My jokes are lame sometimes. It, does, it doesn't end well. Okay. What's your end game I am? Hello. You must be new to this channel. Um, I'll let the comment session answer that one. <laughs> Critical's Dungeon. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, his dungeon does have like a, a crap ton of IEMs, <laughs> so I don't mind being there. <laughs> Definitely want to go to the hangout, just or just Singapore in general. Could try out so many IEMs. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like, if you're gonna go to Singapore, there's only two places to go. There's Zeppelin, of course, legendary, and there's the hangout, which is. Probably has even more stuff than Zeppelin now. Yeah, because uh, I think Krin told me that he has like upwards of three to four hundred pairs of IEMs, and some of them like relics as well, old stuff you can't find anymore, like the original Blessing by Moondrop. And he has a whole bunch of headphones as well, so it's like he has just as many items, if not more items, than Zeppelin. And he gets all the new stuff all the time because, of course, he's a reviewer. So he gets sends a lot of new things. It's like if I were to open my own like uh, cafe, I would never. But if I were to open my own cafe, uh, my cafe would have just uh, have a lot of stuff. Yeah, I would say enough to be like a mini version of like e-earphones. Office tour. There's actually, uh, if you guys did not know, there's an office tour video coming. Not from me. Precog filmed my um, very small office. And uh, he's going to put me on blast on his personal channel, Precog Vision. So please subscribe to Precog Vision for the future office tour. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just got to throw that plug out there for the boy. Uh, hey, Timmy, any thoughts on uh, Zgur Adon? What is that? What is Sigur Adonis? Um, never heard of that one. The only Adonis I've heard is from like QOAs. QOA Adonis, which is pretty old. Theo is Precog Vision. You didn't know his name was Theo? He has a real name, you know. Ugh. So there is another QOA that I got. Avia Aviation. Aviation. Um. <laughs> Jay needs rest. Hey Timmy, have you you have any interest in reviewing the hype too? I have all the interest, but no item. I have all the interest. I just don't have the item to review. <laughs> just don't have it on hand with me. I don't know what to say. Uh, let's see here. Oh my God, I'm at peak viewership at like. 58 people watching me. You guys are you guys are too kind. I would have left by now. Uh, <laughs> thought on Grand Maestro not worth the money. It's like too expensive. It's too expensive. Um, sounds decent, but my favorite fat freak is still the Maestro Mini. Thoughts on SIM card EML6 or Kiwi Ears Quintet? Uh, EML6. I've not tried the Quintet. I've not tried. Yeah, I just don't have those. Hype 2 wasn't that great. Sean Brady. We'll take your word for it, Sean. Because I don't have the item on hand. So I, I, I don't know if it's good or not. Yo. Aviation. I'm not going to try it out now. We'll try it out on video. Because I need content for my channel. Or else I just don't have videos I can upload, you know. And if I don't have videos I can upload, what are you guys going to do? You guys wouldn't, you guys wouldn't have a video to watch. 
not that other channels <laughs> release them. <clears throat> Think an Aria 2 may be coming from Moondrop eventually? Probably. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. Mm. We will cry. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. You're like the only supporter. What is the Segura Donis? I've not tried it. Never heard of it in my life. You're getting just ears clear? No. I, at least I don't think I'm getting just ears clear. Uh, there's so many new IEMs, I can't really keep up, man. Do 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 do. Bro came straight from Yapville. Yapville? What is. Is like Yapville supposed to say that I'm talking a lot? I mean, don't, bro, it's a live stream. What am I supposed to do? Like. It would be so boring. I just look like an idiot. If I already have Moondrop Aria and I and want to have more even trouble, should I buy Truth Year Zero, Red, Hexa, or save up for price your I am? Um, I would say save up. Yeah, maybe save if you already have Moondrop Aria, maybe save up. You could go for a red. I don't see why not have a red. Someone needs to fill Super Review live stream void. Oh yeah, Mark's out of town, I think. So he's not doing live stream as of right now. But yeah. yeah Mark, come back. And Mark, come back to us. We are missing our live stream quotas for the audio community. We want Mark back. Shoutouts to Mark, by the way. If you guys did not know, Squeak Tool is like his tool, basically. <laughs> so with, no Mark, no Squig. <laughs> so shoutouts to Mark. And uh, the fact that he's like allowing us to use these tools for like absolutely free, that's amazing. That it's there's uh, there's no amount of praise. It's like that's enough. Because anyone who has this kind of tool could have easily charge money, but he's not charging money. But we're not. We don't want to give him any ideas either. So, <laughs> Mark, please keep it free. Thoughts on Centop versus Dune SA6 Mark II? I like them both. I like them both. Uh, my personal taste, SA, uh, since Top is more my, my personal taste. But I like them both. Curious what you think about 7 Hertz Sonus. I, I, I don't have that one. Um, a lot of the new IEMs I don't have yet. I, I think I get them like later than everyone else. I don't know why. Uh, I think the, uh, the Chai Fi market. Um, has, has shunned me from, from its good graces. Uh, Squigs has been so helpful and helping me find IEMs I like. Mark saving me money. Yeah, Mark saving everyone money, yeah. Vortex Reviews, hello! Hello, my friend from the great land of Great Britain. Howdy, howdy. How are you doing? Uh, you joined the stream a little late, but uh, I forgive you. There's, there's always second chances, okay? So next month, you know, I would like to get if you uh, if you join a little earlier. <laughs> Between Monarch Mark Two and Mess Two, what would you recommend? Monarch Two, all the way, hundred <laughs> percent. Is that um, good things? And you, I am fantastic. Uh, Moon Drop, Space Travel, Mister Vortex. It's actually pretty damn good. Like it's twenty five bucks. You should like you know you know, get get to reviewing that one. Time zone sucks. Yeah, time zone must be so different. You're late. Timmy has to go to a wedding. What wedding? Whose wedding? I'm not going to a wedding. I'm just like dressing nice to uh, to to treat myself today to something fun. Uh, oh hello Timmy. Hello Fox Gaming. You already reviewed space travel? Gosh, you're, you're so... Why are people getting, like, stuff before me? Look, I, I got this, like, two days ago. I thought I was, like, one of the first ones, no? Damn it. Ugh! Really, chi fi Market has chunned me from its good graces. Like, I'm getting stuff way later than everyone else. Maybe, like, they send it out to everyone and they're like, Oh, yeah, we forgot to send it to Timmy. You know? <laughs> 
Thoughts on Helios and Helios SE? I've tried the Helios, loved it. Helios SE, have not tried it. Where was your space travel from, Timmy? It's from, uh, if you go? High five go, yeah, high five go. Yeah. I've just been forgotten, man. I've just been forgotten. Hey, Timmy, are you going to review Moondrop Beautiful World? <laughs> no. They, they, they're not sending that out to reviewers, I think. Like, you have to buy it, which I think HBB bought it. Yeah, let's look that up, actually. I think Chris bought it. Um, the Beautiful World. How, what's the name of it, even? Moon Did he graph it? Please, Chris. I don't think anyone has it. Yeah. Isn't it like expensive? I thought I thought I thought for sure Chris bought one. Maybe not. Hmm. Sci fi Marcus ignores Timmy because he abuses his chat and calls them merchants. <laughs> hey man. My my one of my good friends once said you have to call a spade a spade. <laughs> Thoughts on Monarch 3 is just as good as Monarch 2, just different. I don't think it's an upgrade, I don't think it's a downgrade. You should wear a fancy shirt like this more often, then you will get more IEM sent to you. <laughs> Maybe that's the trick, you know. Maybe that's the trick. I need to dress up nice and try to convince, like, the shy fi overlord to send me stuff. Is Oracle Mark 1 still good to this day? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? I've never tried any of the Monarch models, unfortunately. Um, I think I, I think they're all good. Monarch one, two, and three. So yeah, I don't think there's a bad Monarch model. You should uh, you should try. I mean, hey, Mr. Vortex, uh, you can always visit Japan. Uh, I, I I invite you. I invite you over. Um, you, you, you can visit. <laughs> can try everything here. <laughs> Who's your favorite VTuber? Oh man, there's only one VTuber I like, man. And I'm loyal to this VTuber. You know who that is? You know who that is? Who? It's Side Salad Audio. Mr. Jamie, of course, the only VTuber. The only important VTuber. Side Salad Audio. <laughs> Hey, Tamir, any thoughts on the channeling Sono? Not tried it. <laughs> Thanks, you might take care of the offer someday. Yeah, absolutely. Come on down. You know, I, I've had like um, a few reviewers visited me now. You know, Practifile, if you know him. Uh, Kryn, who has visited. Uh, Precog, just visited recently. So, yeah, I've had like a number of um, reviewers visited uh, the, uh, the Giz Audio. Um, Mansion, uh, with an air quote. <laughs> Mansion. <laughs> the Audio Haven. That's the name. The Giz Audio's Audio Haven. Sono is not great. I would skip it. All right. I'll take up your word for it. There's so many new IMs that, like, if I were to go away from the hobby for two months and not review anything that's released in, an, in the next, like, you know, in this two months, if I just ignore every release here, I'll be completely fine. I would come back to this community and still be just as relevant because 99% of stuff that gets released now is just not going to be relevant, like, even two months from now. That's, that's insane. That's how insane this hobby is right now. There's way too many things. Do you ever find yourself going wireless with IEMs? Huh? 
going wireless with the IEMs. Um, if you do prefer to use Bluetooth adapter, or, oh, now, oh, okay, okay, okay. I, yeah, I never, I, I don't, I don't do that. No, 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 no. I like my IEMs to be wired. Wired them up. Do you have any DAB? Yeah, I have the FIO M11S. I like that one. Small. It's a, uh, it's, it's not super small, but it, it's, it's a, uh, it's a decent size one. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's, um, it's, it will impress, uh, ladies. Actually, maybe not. It's, it's more like it's a size that would be just satisfying to the ladies. Not, not, not overly impressive, but not, not too small. Do you have any, uh, oh, no, I read that. Sad, but true. Quintet review when, whenever I get it. Because <laughs> I don't have it, and I want to buy it. Uh, at this point in the hobby, man, I'm done buying. I, I bought so many things that, like, I'm just broke. All right, we only have two minutos. Uh, two minutes left for Q&A, so ask your questions. I'll answer the last bit, and then I'm gonna bounce out of here. Hey, Timmy, thoughts on Moondrop Dawn Pro? Never used it. Whoa, Timmy not buying me. Oh, listener, you came in at like the last two minutes, my friend. But of course I'll buy you dinner. I'll always buy a listener some good dinner. Someone needs to feed him. He, <laughs> he's too skinny. Listener, how the hell are you so skinny? Uh, TV, have you recently updated your favorite vocal? I am. I like um. I like I like the diva still. I was napping. Oh no. <laughs> how do you physically tune? I am. So that's the question for the engineers. I mean, I know a little bit, but I'm not even gonna attempt to like enter that field and answer like truthfully because I don't want to mess anything up and say the wrong information, okay? The one thing I know is, uh, okay, I'll, I'll say the two things I, I know for sure. Tube length and uh, filters. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, 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 bores, yeah, vent and stuff like that. Yeah, that matters. <laughs> Uh, hey, Timmy, if you had to pick one of these two options right now, would you go for Blessing 3 or Variations? Uh, B3 for me personally, because the Variation lacks that bit of mid-bass that I, that I kind of want. It's a little too much sub-bass. C1R or M9? <laughs> C1R. Easy. Timmy, are you going to buy the bus that... To what? I have no clue what that is. DD still best bass? Uh, depends on how it's tuned. Marnock Mark III or Diva? Diva. Uh, what's your opinion on Tidal Performance between Moondrop Shoe 2 and Cadenza? Ah, not the same. Have fun today. Bye bye. Alright. Did you have any Bluetooth problem with Space Travel 2? No. No, it was fine. Do, 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 do. Timmy, what tips do you use with your B3? Um, honestly, just the stock tips. Annie or VX? Annie. All right, it is time for me to go. Thank you so much for watching this live stream uh, all the way to the end for those who joined <laughs> recently and for those who stayed for the whole thing. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, the, oh, I forgot to explain one thing. The reason I look to the side is because I got a second monitor and it's changed my life. I love having a second monitor, but yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. I'll be getting out of your hair and getting out of your ears now because, you know, you guys uh, you guys have more important things to listen to. Yeah, I'll see you guys uh, later.